So today, we're in Port of Scanlon, which is a small bay just on the north side of the Fier Peninsula. It's a sheltered bay which looks out west, where there's a north wall that breaks the water, and then there's a wall that runs along the coastline. The bay itself has a variety of marine life and a variety of habitats. Along the walls you can find a range of algal, where closer in it's fucoid, and as you get deeper west, along the walls you can get into the kelp forests. This means there's a diverse range of life, particularly wrasse species. One of the species which is the ballon wrasse, found in a variety of sizes and different colours. And they're such a tropical looking fish. Along here you can find the strawberry red up to the green. But they're all perfectly camouflaged to the habitat. In the centre of the bay, it comes more sand, and this is a place where you can find a range of camouflage species that bury themselves under the sand. But they'll be hiding away, so hopefully when we head here tonight, we'll, uh, we'll see them at night, and hopefully they'll be out of their burrows and scattering around the reef. So hidden here amongst the algae is a 15 spine sticklebutt. They're an interesting fish species, and as you can see, they're really well camouflaged amongst the algae. They go in a variety of different colours that just help them blend in. It takes a keen eye to try and pick one out amongst all the different colours of the seaweed or algae. So 15 spine sticklebutts get their name because of the 15 spine that are found on the dorsal side, which is their top side. So we can see if we get a tight shot and so these little spines. As we get to outside the bay, you get to the large Kelp forests are full of life. Hence the deep water these heads play around. They're really, really cool. They're definitely worth exploring a bit further. Oh, look at this. Look at this guy. Uh, where's he gone? Jellyfish, we can see made because of the compass like bearings on the top of the jellyfish. So here we have some leopard spotted goby. We can see named because they're leopard spotted patterns. More found in the deep parts of Potskada and the outskirts. In 
be interested to see how this all changes when we dive here later at night and where the species come out that we can't find here today. Hopefully we can find those bobtail squid and also see if any cat sharks are hunting at night and I'm sure we can get some footage of the 50s vice stickleback also hunting because we couldn't get it in the day so we'll have to look at it at night.